Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Tacoma Park, Maryland, with a sovereign citizen slash frauditor that goes by the name of NOJ News First, as he attempts to resolve a situation regarding one of his court cases, and, uh, well, he ends up showing how much knowledge he has in uh, constitutional uh, matters and the law, which is to say that he is a complete dumbass when it comes to it. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy watching this fool make a complete ass out of himself. All right. It is December. It is December the 28th, 2022, and we're back at the United States District Courthouse. On December the 13th, the court sent me this document saying that I have to turn over all my evidence to the judge. I didn't waive my right to have a judge trial. I requested a jury trial. And we're about to go up here and find out what is going on. Has corruption already started with this court? Well, first of all, dude, I wonder why it took you so long to upload this beautiful gem of stupidity. Because here it is. July or the end of July and you filmed this back in uh, December so why are you just now getting to it but hey it's not the time that matters it's the uh, content that matters and in this particular content you are definitely showing your ignorance of how things work already for for instance you just said that the uh, you are going to have a jury trial and that apparently you have this idea that it is the jury that is going to be running the show because you are upset that the judge is asking you for the evidence in your trial. Well, uh, dude, that's not the case. It is the judge who's always going to be in control. The jury is there to uh, observe the trial, to deliberate what's going on, and eventually pass judgment. And that's really about it. The judge still maintains control of the courtroom, even when there's a jury in there. So, I don't know where you've been getting your BS at, but you need to go back to school and learn. And learn quickly, because if you want to go pro se, boy, you just showed a whole lot of ignorance right there, my friend. At no time did I waive my rights to a jury trial. To have a judge hear my case. But this is how corruption started. The Seventh Amendment to the Supreme Law grants me a right to a jury trial. Uh, no. Uh, the Sixth Amendment grants you the right to a jury trial. But the Seventh Amendment is pretty much the double jeopardy uh, clause. So, dude, you are already getting off on a bad start on here. You're batting... Uh, is zero right now. So why don't you come back later when you've actually studied the Constitution, the laws, and everything like that, and stop making yourself look like a complete imbecile? In a civil matter where the jury is the arbitrator, not the judge. But my bodyguard with me. But we here you go again, down here at Greenbelt courthouse yeah I leave my firearm in the in the car yeah I said I left my firearm in the car with my clips I don't want 
want no shit but with these people. So we're here at the United States District Courthouse again, y'all. To figure out how a judge is going to ask us to turn over evidence before he gives us a subpoena. Just said hello to the guard at the courthouse. I'm pretty sure he's getting on the phone calling. They're coming with cameras, y'all. But I find this interesting that the clerk of the court wants me to turn over all my evidence to the judge. And he hasn't even signed the subpoenas yet. Is he going to request the evidence from the defendants? At no time did I waive my rights to a jury trial. Matter of fact, I requested a jury trial to be the arbitrator of this. I paid my money and I want my jury to hear, my peers to hear this case, not a judge. Man, with all that babbling, I can understand one thing about you. You don't understand anything about how the process works, dude. I mean, the judge is going to be in there no matter what, because that is his job. He is the one that runs the courtroom. It's not the jury that runs the courtroom in a jury trial. It is still the freaking judge. He is the one that runs it because he has been the one to be trained on that position. The judge is only supposed to instruct the jury or the rules and the regulations and the law. Well, dude, you're still completely wrong about that process because the judge is there for a whole lot of other reasons other than to instruct the jury. He is there to keep the uh, attorneys in line, make sure their arguments are sound. He's got a lot to do because there's got to be somebody who is the middleman who uh, makes sure that everything runs smoothly, and that is the job of the judge in a jury trial, you numbskull. So let's go up here and find out what's going on. A little longer than a few minutes later. Top of the morning to you all. Who wants to, who wants to handle my, my situation? I received this letter in the mail requesting that I turn over all my evidence to the judge. Mm -hmm. uh, I requested a jury trial. I'm not, under, I'm not having a judge decide anything. The Seventh Amendment gives me that right. He's not the arbitrator. So why am I turning over my evidence to him? I, like the, I, like, I just want to know. That's a solid question. Um, that... I requested a jury trial who are the, is the arbitrator of this case. Mm -hmm. When do uh, plaintiffs have to turn over evidence to a judge? And he hasn't even signed the subpoenas yet for me to serve. So why I'm, I don't understand what the problem is. So uh, let me grab somebody who's more familiar with the procedure okay. than I am because I haven't nailed down. I know, I know. You told me you guys just started. Okay. The the here. clerk of the is the clerk here? Uh, the, the clerk of the court? Yeah. She's actually out. How right about the, how about the lawyer she brought the last time? He is also out. Okay. I can grab my supervisor. Okay, that'll work. Be right back. All right, thank you. No yeah, I ain't never heard of that in my life. I gotta turn my evidence over. Nobody else gets to turn their evidence over? And the trial ain't even started yet. Dude, you are a damn moron. All evidence has got to be turned over before the trial starts 
So that way, all parties involved can take a look at it and uh, develop their arguments around it. I mean, were you born yesterday, you lead paint drinker? Because that is how it works. Everybody turns over the evidence that they have for the trial and before the trial, not uh, during the trial. That helps to ensure a fair and impartial trial where everybody gets their fair say. And if you can't handle that, you need to find some other way of getting this stuff done. His job is just to explain the law. He's not to d decide this case. Five minutes later. That's right here is an ex parte. He wants the evidence before anybody else served the evidence. How you doing? All right, how are you? I'm doing fine. What's your name? Janet. Ja Miss Janet. I received this in the, the mail. I just served, uh, filed this lawsuit mm -hmm. and I requested a jury trial. Yes, sir. Okay, the judge, he's just the, he's just the person who's going to explain the law to both sides. He doesn't, what does he need my paper, my evidence for before we start the, jur uh, the trial? He hasn't even signed the subpoenas to serve these people yet. So I'm trying to figure out what is going on here. I mean, the Seventh Amendment gives me a right to a jury trial, and they're going to be the arbitrators. It does. So I, I'm not quite sure what the issue is. So summons have not been issued yet. This is still under judicial review. Yes, ma'am. I came um, over. I came here. I think speak to these gentlemen last week about, and I paid to have a jury trial, not a judge. Everything goes under judicial review. You don't get summons issued automatically. It doesn't automatically go to trial. Everything gets determined whether it proceeds no. by the judge. No, no, not by law. And not by law. I, and I understand what you're saying. Uh, not by law. Since when did you become a legal expert, dumbass? Because that's exactly how it works. She's trying to explain it to you, but if you would stop trying to be the legal expert and listen to somebody who actually knows the law, you would understand. The Seventh Amendment. On your, well, I, I can't uh, well, argue with you about no, this. no, no. Hear me out for a minute. When I paid my money, on your complaint it says, "Do I want a judge trial or a jury trial?" Yes. I mark jury. I do not. I don't even trust these judges up here, and this has something to do with this system up here. I paid to have my case heard by a jury. Okay, and if that's not what the filing fee is for. It's not to be heard by a jury. No, no, no. The filing fee is to have my case heard in this courthouse. If that was the case, then the judge should have reviewed it before I paid my money and decided that, I, and I know this is the corruption that goes on in this judicial system. Okay, you pay the money and then this judge decides from a telephone call from somebody else, kill it. That's not gonna happen this time. I'm going to go to the ethic board. I'm going to I'm going to file an appeal. My Seventh Amendment gives me a right to be heard by a jury or my peers, not a judge. OK, if that was the case, he should have reviewed it before I paid my money. Now he's extorting money from me if he thinks he's going. To. I've never heard where a plaintiff has to turn over his evidence to a judge when nobody. But I'm just saying turning over all the paperwork that I what he's saying in this is. What the clerk is saying, I need to turn over everything to prove my case before the case even starts. Yes, dumbass. They need to see the evidence to see if it's even worth going to trial over. Because if your evidence is not valid or doesn't have anything to do with the case, then they are not going to go forward with it. They're not just going to start up a trial and you not show your evidence. I mean, that's not how it works. You just can't bring it up in the courtroom at the very day of the trial. The other side has to take a look at the evidence as well. That's called discovery, you bloody moron. That is how it works. That is always how it has worked in the uh, U.S. justice system, you bloody moron. No wonder you're having trouble with this because you just don't understand anything to begin with. 
it says I have to turn over everything that I want him to, to look at. I don't want him looking at anything. I want the jury to do it. Well, unfortunately, with the federal court, everything goes under judicial review first, and then it determines if the case proceeds further. If you have an issue with that, you are more than welcome to put oh, that, it in writing I, and file it in your case. I, I intend to, but I just wanted to make sure because that's not the law. Okay. I'm very I familiar with what the law is. Means. That's not, I mean, they've been doing it for so long and getting away with it that they think it's the law. It's not. That's why they put jury and judge. The jury is the arbitrator pursuant to the Seventh Amendment, not the judge. And that's why I mark jury. He doesn't have to pr decide anything. All he has to do is sit up on that bench and tell what the law is pursuant to this case. And that's what I paid for. Now, if he thinks he's going to, uh, and I've been through this court before. They uh, granted me uh, to file a uh, complaint without paying for it. And then when we got all the way up to Richmond, the state argued I didn't pay. But you said I was free to pay, not pay. And they dismissed it because I didn't pay. This time I paid, and I want my case to be heard by 12 of my peers because this is a corruption case. And all it takes for him, and I don't know him, but I'm going to, do a background on him, is a phone call from these criminals, and he dismisses this case. That's not going to happen. It's not. And I, and I run a YouTube channel putting corrupt people on it, and that's where it stems from. And if he wants to get on there, I'm making it very clear. I pay to have a jury trial, and that's what I want. And I don't have to give my evidence to the court. You haven't even signed the subpoenas yet. You say it says send all paperwork or evidence you want him to. to because I'm trying to explain to you, sir, that everything goes under judicial review first. It doesn't automatically mean that you have a case in the court. Uh, so the judge can dismiss the case at any time before being heard by a jury. Well, he should have did that before he it took my money, extorted my money from me. You could have proceeded without paying. That was an option. No. No, because he wouldn't have done it because I make too much money to do it without. I've already been through this. The last time, the only way they did it because I was illegally incarcerated by some individuals. And I asked for that. But now I'm paying to have my case go before a jury. I'm just, I'm going to file a motion. I make, make no mistake, I'm going to file a motion. But if he decides to dismiss this case, we're going to Richmond. And I'm going to put him on my webs. I'm not playing with this case. Okay, I, I'm not quite sure what you would like me. My to problem. Do. All I want is clarification. Is this letter saying that you all want me to turn over my evidence to this judge, so he can review it? That is not what that says. That is. It says turn over all paperwork and whatever, so he can review. Anything that you feel would be beneficial to your case to proceed within this court, we're not asking you to turn in all of your evidence. That's considered discovery and not something exactly. that required in the beginning. But my thing is, but why is he doing they this? Final cases they final exhibits to prove that this is why this is happening. So that's what this letter is saying, that anything that you would like reviewed by the judge prior to anything, please submit it. Okay. It's not required. But once I sign the jury on that box, on that complaint, the judge is not the arbitrator anymore. I didn't waive my rights to have the judge look at my evidence and decide this case pursuant to the Seventh Amendment. He is no longer the arbitrator, so I don't have to send him anything. Dude, you're going to have to present something before the trial, all your evidence if necessary, to make sure that everybody can take a look at it. Like I said before, it's called discovery. This is what you're arguing against. You don't want anybody to take a look at what you have when you say that everybody around there is corrupt. That would be corruption right there. You not wanting to let everybody take a look at it before the trial. Well, that's a bit of a stretch. I would say in your case, it's flat out stupidity and ignorance of the topic at hand, considering that you seem to not know anything about how the system works. So it makes me wonder, uh, if you think everything's corrupt and don't know how it works, could it be the fact that, uh, well, maybe you're just ignorant of the system and therefore think it's corrupt? I mean, it's been known to happen. 
So maybe you should get yourself educated. Oh, wait, you already say you're educated in the system. But from what I've seen and what you keep on talking about, you are sure as hell not educated in the system. And complete. in fact, you're just a complete freaking utter moron. And th but, but this is what this letter is saying. That's evidence sent whatever I need to him to prove my case so he can make a decision on it. That's what this letter is saying. But he hasn't even signed the subpoenas. Are he going to get the evidence from the defendants also? Or he just wants my... It's something fishy with this, this letter. I, I tried to explain it to you. No, no, no. I understand quite... I understand what you're saying. You're saying that whatever I need to prove my case, that it... Wait a minute. To prove my case to go forward with the judge, I need to send it in to the judge. That's not what I said. But that's what your letter is saying. It says send any any documents or whatever to prove your case to the judge. Isn't that what it says? Any documents that you would like the judge to consider. He has nothing to consider. He's okay, just. Well, and, and, that's, and that's how you would like to proceed with it. Then please put it in writing. I'm not quite sure. I'm not going to be argumentative with you. No, I'm not trying to be argumentative. I'm, it, it is what it is, and whatever you want to file, I'm completely okay. No, with. but this I came from the clerk of the judge, court, and, and I just I want. Make him no, 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 young lady. I'm not that. mad with you. I'm not arguing with you. But this came from the clerk of the court. Exactly, and I'm okay. telling you that it says right here that anything that you would like the judge to consider. Now, this is coming from the clerk's office because it was approved to be sent out by the clerk's mm -hmm. office. So, if you have an issue with this. Please put it in writing and submit it. No, what I'm saying is it's the clerk's office that sent this to me. And I'm trying to say that the clerk office sent this because they're trying to get the evidence, which is the documents or any evidence to make the judge. The judge hasn't even signed the subpoenas is what I'm saying. But the judge is not the arbitrator of this. Right, because the Okay, so they're not going to put a whole bunch of money in a case that is frivolous. And I'm not saying yours is frivolous. That's why it goes under judicial review to make sure that the case can proceed in our court. Okay, so when I came here and spent my money, I put a whole lot of money in to have a jury look, listen to my case, not a judge. And that's why I marked jury. You for the jury. What did I pay for then? You paid to file the case. Everyone pays to file a case whether they select jury or not. But you know, okay. I, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just making it very clear that everything that goes on in this case, citizens will see it. And this right here is very suspicious to me because you're extorting money if my case doesn't go through, and I'm gonna you're violating my constitutional rights pursuant to the Seventh Amendment. The Seventh Amendment, which is a criminal offense if you violate my constitutional right, and I'm seeking that. And I'm seeking that from these people I'm suing from also. I got a problem. He hasn't even signed subpoenas. Are he going to ask the defendants for their? Did you send one of these to the defendants? They're not input in the case. They haven't been served because some of them have not been issued. That's what I'm saying. This is a new case notification letter, sir. It's not meant to be anything but to let you know that your case has been filed. This is your judge. These are certain local rules that need to be followed. Otherwise, Which are unconstitutional. Which are illegal. Put it in I am. Well, the way I see it, dude, is that uh, you are so damn ignorant of the Constitution and of the laws that you see anything like this as unconstitutional because, well, like I said, ignorance, ignorance, ignorance. You don't know how the system works, and therefore you believe it to be corrupt and therefore you want it to be uh, abolished or anything like that. Well, dude, ignorance of uh, a system is not an excuse to bring it down. I, I'm just coming to you because it says clerk of the court. It's not, I'm not aiming this at you. I'm just, I'm just making this clear to you, and that's why I asked you your name. So if it goes further, I spoke to you about it but you didn't write this rule so i understand and i don't get upset with me but this is okay this is unconstitutional because if he's not going to ask the defendants to turn in paperwork why is he asking the plaintiff 
Well, dude, uh, here's the thing about argument and persuasion theory. If you make a claim, then you've got to be able to back it up. People have got to be able to see this evidence, especially in the court, before it goes to trial. That way they can make sure that it is uh, valid. If it's not valid, then it doesn't go forward. So you got to turn over these documents so they can uh, evaluate them, and they might be able to help you build your case if you've got anything that is uh, sub can be substantiated. But if you don't have anything, well, then you don't have a case. It's as simple as that, dude. It might be different, but I can't answer for the judge. They are entered in their case. It's ten of them, and they haven't been even served yet. But you're asking me to turn over evidence, and this is evidence, documents to prove my case, which is unconstitutional. Okay, I just want to bring it up here on this day and, and make sure that it's noted that we came and spoke to somebody in this office. Yes, sir. And, and then, I don't know what you, that's why I would, the, the clerk, but you're not the clerk. No. So, oh, yeah. I wanted to speak to her. He brought her, brought you. But this is, un yeah, this is unconstitutional, this rule of me turning over, ev this is evidence. I don't care how you try to spin it, okay. it's evidence proving my case. When I paid my $40, it was to have a case entered into, to be heard. I don't care how y'all spin it. $400 to hear this case by a jury. That's what the jury box, not a judge. I didn't waive my rights to a judge determining this case. And that's what he's saying, this letter is saying. He's going to make a decision whether it goes forward or not. It's not his job to. Have a nice day, young lady. Well, now, uh, there is a simple solution to all of your problems right here. You can just decide not to turn in the evidence, and the case will disappear because, well, uh, you won't have a case because, well, you didn't turn in the evidence. And if you don't turn in the evidence, you don't have a case. So, uh... You got to do one to get the other. You got to turn in the evidence to have the case go forward. Otherwise, you're just going to be left there complaining about how you got screwed over by a corrupt system. Well, what you say is corrupt when in all actuality, discovery is part of of the process well at any rate guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one